guys, how's it going? So today I'm here to talk to you about Club Penguin moderators. Basically, Club Penguin moderators kind of falls under the category of a Club Penguin staff member. And staff members are people who work for Club Penguin. Uh, there's many different types of Club Penguin staff. For example, uh, support representatives or people who are artists, writers, engineers, and bloggers. Now, what's interesting about this is that there's so many positions. However, the only people that have, in my eyes, the most power are the moderators, which is why I'm here to talk to you about them today. So I went on to the Disney Interactive page where you guys can ask some questions and there was actually a uh, pretty frequent question that came up which was how do I become a moderator? If you look it up this will be the first thing to come up. So when I read it it says if you want to be a Club Penguin moderator you must be 18 years of age or older and live near the following cities uh, Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada or Buenos Aires, Argentina. As a safety precaution, each moderator has to be at least 18 because they're dealing directly with children who have to pass a criminal record check. Our moderators work together as a team in the Club Penguin offices. This is a part of our safety measures. We need to know who is moderating to keep Club Penguin safe. And then they have a few links to the uh, job openings in um, British Columbia and in Buenos Aires. So it's kind of interesting because you would think that a moderator wouldn't have to be in the actual offices of Club Penguin. All they would have to do uh, was, I guess, be some sort of member um, of Club Penguin for a long time, I guess, without any bands and so on. So I think that's pretty interesting. Um, and another thing is, I also um, am surprised that they don't have more, I guess, locations uh, where their offices are. I guess one is in Buenos Aires and the other one is in um, Canada. So that's just one of the pages that I found. So because I found out that um, it's kind of hard to get a job as a moderator on Club Penguin, seeing as you have to live near certain locations, I did a little bit more research, and for those of you guys that don't live uh, near those two cities, I'm going to show you guys kind of what it is like to be a moderator. So this is what uh, the dashboard looks like. It's on the Club Penguin Wiki, and you guys can check it out, um, but here is what it looks like. Now there's a few tabs, pretty much ranging from the summary to bands and everything in between. Uh, something that's cool that I uh, read on, uh, I believe, the Club Penguin Wiki as well, um, was that you pretty much have control over every single Penguin's ban. You also have um, the power to, I guess, reverse the ban. So in case anything was misinterpreted and you accidentally ban someone, uh, a moderator could easily undo that ban. Not only that, but they actually do take notes on the penguins that they do find suspicious, which is the notes tab. So if someone was wearing a beta hat um, or some sort of rare item and they don't seem to be that old of a penguin just by the rest of the stuff that they have, um, club penguin moderators can make notes uh, of just the stuff that they see in case they want to look back and reference it for uh, future purposes. Some more in-depth kind of facts about moderators are that um, on September 30th, 2005, moderating was introduced to Club Penguin. So before the official release, Club Penguin already had moderators kind of roaming around the island. Another thing is that Club Penguin staff have access to any item, whether it be the Beta Hat, the Hawaiian Lei, or one of the newer items. Club Penguin has access to all of them. Another cool fact is that many of the Club Penguin staff ban their accounts when they log off and unban them when they log in to ensure that the hackers don't get into their accounts. I think this is kind of a smart move and um, actually thinking about it, it's probably a, a better move on their parts because a lot of times accounts do get hacked or some people kind of guess the right password and uh, luckily uh, Club Penguin do take precautions to kind of prevent this. The last fact is that Club Penguin staff uh, use the moderator badge or used to use the moderator badge in the top right corner of their player card. However, um, this was removed so that some staff members can roam around Club Penguin incognito. Basically, Club Penguin on their profile cards used to have these little badges in the top right corner that show that they were moderators. So when people kind of noticed that, um, they would either take off their items that they hacked or they would kind of, um, I guess, act differently than, than they would if there wasn't a moderator in the room. So in order to uh, kind of catch people in the act, I guess, Club Penguin took these badges out so that people would have no idea if a moderator was in the room or not. So guys, that's the video on how to become a moderator on Club Penguin. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you want another topic such as this, uh, let me know in the comments. This one was actually recommended by about five different people in the comments. So thank you to those people. Um, and I do listen to your recommendations in the comments. So if you have anything that you really, really want me to do, be sure to put it in the comments. But guys, with that said, I will see you all tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Take care.